Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, if you're here, if you like the content that I'm putting out, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified when I upload. Um, but we are going to be doing, uh, I think I discussed this, a um, little bit of a mini series when it comes to Mr. Curtis Stone, because I'm so pro uh, Mr. Curtis Stone. And uh, we're going to be doing some of his unboxings. And I got a Curtis Stone package today. I'm expecting uh, a few, a few, and nope, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't have a deal with Mr. Curtis Stone. I don't get a kickback, nor do I with THC or, um, I guess for my American subscribers, it's HSN. Lord have mercy. No, that's just, that would just be dangerous. So let's see what I got today. I'm expecting quite a few things. Um, this is not what I was hoping for today, Canada Post, but cool beans, I'll take it. I'm just gonna shoot that off to the side. So, okay. Okay. So, the, okay. so this just may look like, um, like, yo, this bee is totally just buying like everything up a Curtis Stone just for the sake of doing so. Partly. Uh, here's the thing. TSC had this like wicked awesome sale on Curtis Stone stuff and this was one of the items that was on sale. But the other thing is that if you spend $150 or more, you can use uh, a promo code to get free shipping. Um, so I needed to get my card up to that amount. Moving on. Um, I mean, you will always need care and usage instructions. I mean, you won't always need those. Uh, you will always need measuring cups in the home. You will always need a good basting brush. No lies, all of my basting brushes have come from Dollarama. No exaggeration, I've never purchased one from Walmart, from Johnny Tiger, from The Bay. No, they've all come from DRAM. So I was like, you know what, why not? So first impressions, um, okay, well, I, I like it. Uh, I guess first impressions on the measuring cup is I wish that all of it was see-through and not just the measurement uh, component um, and the rest being frosted. Um, especially because if I use a measuring cup to do things like yeast to make sure it's live yeast and not dead yeast, I like to see all from all angles that it's it's alive and that it's, you know, fermenting and doing its thing. It's not a huge thing, I'm just, you know, first impressions. I'm sure I'll grow to love it. The other thing that when I was watching um, them illustrate, you know, the, the brush and stuff, I don't know if you can see here, but they're supposed to be like little kind of rivets on the end of each um, bristle and the purpose of and the purpose of that is so that sauce is supposed to stay on so that it's not gloopy, it's not dripping everywhere and you'll get it to the protein and such uh, when you're basting as you need to. The other thing I really liked about it is I am forever like throwing things like that and then things topple over. I am like the messiest home cook ever. If you happen to see flowers whenever I make a mess, that's for my grandfather. Bless, I'm forever making flowers up in my kitchen. What I liked about this is that it literally just, it just sits right on in, it balances it, it's blessed, you know, it's not supposed to be wonky and fall over, so. Well, I mean, oh yeah, okay. Um, this is actually quite sturdy. I'm liking that. So yeah, we're gonna get it all washed up. Um, I'll use it in a review when I uh, I have something to do on the barbecue or up in the house here. So again, if you like my content guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified. Um, and again, 
uh, just gonna put this out there that I am doing kind of like a giveaway when I get to 100 subscribers I'm going to do a contest and one lucky subscriber is going to get a kitchen gadget that I can absolutely not live without brand new free my expense to you um, who knows maybe it'll be a Curtis Stone as always guys from my kitchen to yours enjoy okay guys it's uh it's crazy late my eyes are burning um but i'm going to use the curtis stone uh brush um i have an appointment tomorrow with wearing proper ppe but uh i figured while dropping said parcel off i could also drop off some bread to say thank you so it's just finishing in the oven my traditional white loaf i'll link the description for this below uh, always a crowd pleaser so we're going to move it over here put it on our cooling rack and we're going to brush it with some bread uh, some butter so I'm just going to no don't have paper towel hold please okay let's wow yep that's hot fresh out the oven okay so I've just melted some some butter and the whole point of the rivets is so that it's supposed to your sauce is supposed to stay on now your sauce is going to be thicker than butter but just wanted to see how this was going to oh, hold up compared to my dollar store my dollar store brushes that I use that are quite flimsy but I like them because they Anyways, we're going to try the Curtis Stone. So, I mean, obviously because it's bigger, I'm getting a lot more um, coverage here. And by the way, as gorgeous as it looks, it smells divine up in this house right now. And I'm going to have to hide this in a cool, dry place. So that my littles don't come down tomorrow morning and be like, oh my god, there's bread. I mean, no. Don't feel bad. I've got a, a, a breakfast oatmeal loaf recipe that I've been working on for a while. And uh, I've got some in the microwave that they can slice up and put some peanut butter and sliced bananas on top of and I swear with the chia seeds and the hemp hearts and the oatmeal and the cranberries oh my god it's so good recipe soon to come <laughs> all right so I'm just brushing the top um I like it I like the brush um it's it's heavy in my hand uh and we'll see how that goes for me because I've had uh I've had surgery, carpal tunnel surgery on this hand before, so it's never my favorite hand. It's always swollen and sore. But anyways, I do like the brush. Uh, I like that it's sturdy. I like that it's it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. It doesn't feel like a dollar store brush, so I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Um, I think typically on TSC the cup and the brush retail for something like $24.99 plus there's like $6.99 shipping again this is why you do a TSC order an HSN or you do a bulk order so that you can use their shipping code to alleviate that cost to you um, would I spend $25 on that maybe but I love kitchen stuff so maybe uh, did I spend that no I think I spent under $11 is it worth the $11 I spent on it? Absolutely, you can never have enough measuring cups and you can never have enough, enough of those brushes, especially when it comes to cross-contaminating uh, with your proteins and or your veg or different forms of protein. I would never use the same brush on chicken that I would use on any other protein, right? Pork and pork, beef and beef, chicken and chicken. So in the grand scheme of things, is it good to have all those extras? Absolutely, would I recommend it? Absolutely, do I love Curtis Stone? Absolutely. 
Again, Curtis Stone, this run goes to you. From my kitchen to yours, my darlings, my beautiful foodie friends, it is so late. This girl is off to bed. I'm stuck in my apron. <laughs> if you like the content I'm putting out, hit the like button, subscribe, share, hit the bell to stay notified when I upload. And from my kitchen to yours, guys, enjoy.